Hi folks, welcome to this edition of the Fataba Video Update. I'm Steve Califf. I'm excited today to bring you the new 8FG Super. Now the 8FG has been out for a couple of years, but the Super is software updates that turns this radio into a 14 channel radio. Two, 12 proportional channels, two switch channels, and a host of other features that we'll get into in just a little bit. Let's look at the 8FG as it comes in its box. Of course, radio, neck strap, charger, as all the normal accessories. Plus, you have the R6208 SB receiver. This is a high voltage serial bus receiver. It sets you up to do anything you want in the future. Let's take a little closer look at the 8FG transmitter itself. Power it up here. Now externally it looks pretty much the same as it always has. Ball bearing supported gimbals, nice backlit display, real easy to see. You have the sensor touch programming dial here. Very simple to get into the menus and makes for very quick programming. On the bottom here in our battery compartment we have a 1700 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery pack. This is going to give you over four hours of run time. Also in this compartment is our slot for our SD card, and the SD card allows you to get well over a thousand model memory, plus this is a user updatable system, so when, if you had an existing 8FG and wanted to move it to the Super, all you had to do is download the software onto the SD card and you were ready to go. It has all the great features. Now the one thing externally that this system has that the original 8FG did not have, the sliders here on the back are just a little bit longer than the original 8FG. Now let's take a look at some of the neat features that have been added to the 8FG Super in the software. Now one thing that's been added is variable pitch prop support. And we actually have three pitch curves and three throttle curves available to us. Dropping into the pitch curve menu here, now you'll see that there's a number one up there. I can scroll over to that and select it and change to either of my three curves. Now I've assigned pitch curve number two to a switch here, so if I back out, all the way out, you'll see uh, that now when I move the switch I've assigned to it, that VPP number one changed to a number two down here at the bottom of the page. The other neat thing that's been done to this is user customizable menus. So if we hit S1, you can see it takes us to our user menu. Now I just simply hit return. I select the menu that I want to appear on the user menu. I can have up to eight different ones here. We'll just put a couple in. Now if I hit S1, go back to the main menu, hit it again, and there's my user menus. Hit return and I drop straight into one of our neat menus. Now on the helicopter side of things, we've added two really neat features. The first one is three-axis gyro support. If you're running the new Futaba CGY750, this makes it so nice for you because you can set all of your gyro gains straight from this menu. You can see here we have rudder, aileron, and elevator gains available to us. Now the next thing we're going to look at is a new menu that allows us to set the uh, swash trim directly from the swash menu. In the past you would have to move back and forth through various menus. Uh, we'll go to the sixth page here and you can see that we have pitch adjustment for high, neutral, low and the moving and we can do all of our sub trimming straight from this screen. Well folks, for Fataba video update I want to thank you for stopping in and taking a look at the new ADFG Super with us. We'll be back next time with some more great new Fataba products.